Confined to 35 lakes, a native lake trout hunt evokes a nostalgia beyond our own, arousing the ancestral Paleolithic resolve. Aside from various trout hybrids, like tigers, native lake trout may be the rarest salmonid of the state's brook. Brown. Rainbow and steelhead populations. These isolated lakes reach deep into the Laurentian Shields wilderness. Lake trout, a cold water fish, prefer water at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Cooling water of winter opens up the mid-depth basins and shallows of lakes to these dwellers of the deep. There are two popular ice fishing tactics for lake trout. With the aid of a snowmobile and electric auger, the first, one drills holes until the fish are marked on the sonar, or the second, camping over a travel route and let the fish come to the angler. Pacifiorous rover predators, lake trout are constantly searching for prey, traveling in small groups like pods, driving schools of ciscos or other bait fish up against steep walls, scattering them. At the end of the lodge, there's a point where the contours of the lake form an 80-foot steep wall, right before where a 60-foot basin funnels pinches down 150 feet deep. Right at this bottleneck, off the point, is where there's a good chance of lake trout being around at some time, hoping that a baited lure will attract any aggressive fish. Lake trout feed during the day, seldom caught after the sun has fallen behind the trees. This far north, temperatures plummet to where Fahrenheit and Celsius coincide. After about 20 minutes of jigging, did a sonar mark take a thwack at my lure. For a few seconds a fish was hooked. Less than 5 minutes and a better, strong strike hit. Throughout the day there was pure trout activity. Without hesitation fish rocketed from below or above the lure and chased 10, 15, 20 feet up the water column. 
Whenever the lure paused during the pursuit, did the fish spook. Inferring from this tendency to chase, it seems that the char may be utilizing the ice surface as they do drop-offs. Hey. Harvested was a three-pound fish. Fish dinners ease the numb, cold hands as they wrap up the last piece of gear and provide a healthy urgency as the dark night envelops. First time visiting lake trout country during the winter, which is to state that this was the first time I've caught a wild lake trout. Past visits had been during the warmer months when the shallows and weed beds offer plenty of distraction. This last minute expedition up the Gunflint Trail awoke an obsession with finding a trophy trout. No less than 34 inches, 15 pounds, and 12 ounces. Future installments will expand upon seasonal behavior, forage preferences, ecological niches, seasonal locations for angling opportunities, and trophy hunting expeditions. Thank you.